Hi you guys, my name is Harshita and I'm so happy you're here. Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. So I put up a little question box on my Instagram where I told you all to ask me questions that you want to know about me or assumptions that you have about me. And I'm going to be answering your questions in this video because I want all of you all to know me before we start this journey. So let's get to it. So the most common question I got was which college am I from? So I am in Jindal Global Law School and I'm currently in my second year pursuing BBLLB honors. Assumption, if I think you had to read, you would choose either fiction detective. Um, I don't, I don't read quite a lot of books, but if I had to read something, I'd definitely choose fiction and something in detective. So yes, you're a nerd. Um, no, I'm not at all a nerd. I'm, I think I'm the total opposite of nerd. You are under twenty. Well, I am twenty and I'm going to be turning twenty one this year, so I am not under twenty. You're a graduate. No, I'm currently in my second year and I still have three more years to go. Assumption, your research work is contrary to the amount shown in the reel. Yes, reels show very less information because it's just 30 seconds. But the work that you have to put in a reel has to be correct. So yes, I do have to do quite a lot of research before putting it in. You are a topper of your batch. Um, no, I am not. I am definitely not a topper. I am a good moderate student, but I am definitely not a topper. Of my batch, you're a backbencher. Well, I definitely do not sit in the front. I hate sitting in the front, but I'm not even the kind of person who always sits at the back. I do want to pay attention in class, so I'm. I always sit in the middle. You have only a few close friends. Well, I think that everyone has only a few close friends because if all of your friends are your close friends, then what's the difference? How do you manage tracer gaze alongside college work? So tracer gaze is my Instagram page where I put up uh, legal content and. Uh, I am not gonna lie. It takes up most of my time in the day, and there are times when I have to leave trace your case for college, or I have to give up some college work for trace your case. So it is very, very difficult. But uh, I push through it, and I always try to adjust my time so that I can keep up with the both of it. You've always been an A grade student. Um, no, I in school I wasn't even that great. Like I got decent marks, but it was not bad. But it wasn't even the best of the best. You're really, really smart and hardworking. Well, I don't know about smart, but I am hardworking. You scored really well in your board exams. Um, I don't think so because my batchmates in school were pretty, pretty, pretty intelligent, and uh, my school highest went up to around ninety-eight point two percent or something. But I scored a ninety-five percent, which according to me was good because my board marks didn't even matter for law school. So I did not, I did not pay attention to it much. But I was very happy with my marks. So yeah, you were always interested in law. Yes, I was always interested in law. There was a certain inclination I always had towards law. So yes, which university? Current year? When did you start preparing for LSAT and CAT? I'm in Jindal Global Law School. I'm in my second year. Uh, I started preparing for CAT in my class 11th. So two years before, I actually had to sit for my exam. And LSATs were a long CAT preparation, but essentially I started preparing for LSAT uh, three months before the exam. Your interests in law specialization. Well, I am inclined towards criminal law, the criminal side of law, and I do want to explore it much more than I want to explore the other areas of law. You're a topper of your college. No, I'm not. You're a national level basketball player. Yes, I am. I have represented my state for basketball competitions quite a few times. You're in twelfth standard. No, <laughs> I'm in my second year of law school. Dedicated person, perfectly following your goals. Yes, I am a dedicated person, and I'm working through achieving all of my goals that I have in mind. How did you start? What all things you prepared before going live? So uh, this is a question for Trace Your Case. It's my Instagram page. It was 50% the lockdown creation and 50% the irritation I had in my first semester of law school itself. So we have to read cases before classes, and the judgments are extremely long. So I always uh, thought of taking shortcuts and finding briefs of the judgments. So uh, English cases were pretty easy because Lexis Nexis covered pretty much all of the cases. But I couldn't find a website like that for Indian cases. So when we were in lockdown, I thought of giving it a try. We had a lot of time, and I wanted to help law students. So so that was one reason why I started Trace Your Case, and I prepared for at least three to four months before going live. I had. I had made a lot of briefs on my own, and I had a bunch of cases in hand. So uh, there was a lot of preparation that went to it because I did not know how to build a website, so I had to learn that from scratch. There were a lot of challenges, but I enjoyed it a lot. You're a pretty girl with some uh, really good creative skills. Thank you. Your favorite character from Suits and Why? I think it's Harvey Specter because why not? 
and but also because he always had mics back and he was very loyal your goals when it comes to content creation i try to put up some informative content that people should know about but don't know so reels give a very good chance to put out your content in the most uh, efficient manner so i think by creating content i really want to spread awareness and help people to know the basic laws that people should know and so that they are protected in case they are in trouble Are you practicing advocacy? If yes, mainly in which area? No, I'm a law student, and I still have three more years to go before I pass college. So that's about it. If you have any questions, do put it in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. It's a new adventure for me, and I want you to be a part of it. So please do it. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.